it is cold, it's dark, and you've still got a long way to go. If that sounds like your nightly trip home at this time of year, spare a thought for the saw-wet owl. Right now, hundreds of the little birds have pulled into the Tommy Thompson Park Bird Research Station, a kind of a pit stop on their long trek south. Here's Michael Dick with a look. It may come as a surprise to you, but in the heart of downtown lies a sanctuary for thousands of birds, including the tiny saw-wet owl. They're able to find shelter, uh, and also uh, they can hide from predators, which is important, and they're able to uh, find food. At the foot of the Leslie Street spit, in the city's east end, each night, Dan Derbyshire sets out to catch birds before they head south. They spent the summer in the forests of northern Ontario, but their winter home is in the southern U.S. It's another busy night. He has just a few more weeks to gather important information. We've got two northern sawwood owls in the mist net here. Once he catches them, he brings them back into the research station and gives them a complete physical. He weighs them, takes blood samples, and measures them. Then he tags the birds so he can track the health of the species. Some birds are showing low fat and other birds are showing high fat and hopefully we can recapture a banded bird and see how much fat they're putting on and see if their weight is changing. There's another question Derby Shire is trying to answer. With thousands of birds using Toronto as a stopover on their way down south, what impact is our increasing population having on them? Not to mention all these buildings and lights. Toronto's right on the migratory highway and, uh, and it's been that way for thousands and thousands of years. So. Um, it's not, you know, the city's moved in. And that will mean years more research for Derbyshire. He hopes his work will not only keep these birds healthy, but preserve the health of their habitat as well. Michael Dick, CBC News, Toronto.